Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Inside the Den. And today we're going to take a look at EU Demons. And this is a uh, free-to-play, a little bit older fantasy action MMORPG. But let's go ahead and get started and go through the character creation process. There isn't too much to it, so we're not going to take too long here. As you can see, you've got the two, the newest class, which is the vampires, and you've got the male and female. And it's kind of interesting as you kind of scroll around and pick which characters you want. You've got a paladin, you've got a warrior, and then you've got a mage. And then you can't scroll any further, so you essentially have to go back. So here are essentially the female versions of that. What's really interesting is then you've got the male version of the vampire and then the female version here. Then you've got the male version of the mage. And actually, it looks like the female version of the paladins over here and the male version of the warrior is right here. So I'm going to go with, I tried out the paladin, I mean not the paladin, I tried out the vampire a little bit. Kind of interesting. They've got some cool little, uh, little unique skills. I'm going to try out the mage. I usually like to play mages, but I'm actually going to go with the female mage so I can use my usual name. And let's get in there and she's going to show us a little animation. And here we go. Now it's kind of funny because you've got this animation and stuff going on here, but that's that's pretty much all the animation is going to be like that. When, once you get in here to see, it's a completely different graphical style than what you're seeing here. So kind of interesting that they spent some time to put a 3D modeling here when the game is actually uh, two dimensional. So you can change your avatar. So you've got a bunch to choose from. Let's see if we can find one that is something that I like. So you got quite a few to pick from here. What's really interesting though is none of them actually, that's pretty much the darkest hair. None of them actually have dark hair. So I'm actually gonna be a little weird and go with this purple one. Go female and you guys know which name I am going to pick. Now I do have a surprise for you guys. Next weekend, I'm going to be filming a video that is, not this weekend, not this coming weekend. So essentially actually it is going to be this coming weekend so by the time you guys actually see this video because it's going to be launched on monday and i'm actually recording it earlier in in the weekend before monday but by the time i launch it's going to be this weekend and i'm going to record a video that's going to explain to you guys why i use this name all the time but anyways back to this video so name my character pick my avatar i've got my class i've got my gender and that is it. That's the extent of the character creation process. So I've heard that it crashes crashes fraps right here. So if it does crash fraps, I'll be right back. If not, we're going to be inside the game. So I'm going to hit OK. Create this character now. Creating the character. Please wait a second. And it looks like we're on to naming our... These are the two little pets that you get to uh, run around the game with. So I'm going to name them Bread and Butter. There we go. So if any of you know uh, a little bit about the person's name that I used when I created my character, you know enough about her, you'll know why I use bread and butter. So but let, what's really weird about this is you can actually hit OK or start playing. So I'm going to hit OK and we'll start playing. So now the game dumps you right in. As you can see, it's two dimensional. Um, you can tell that the graphics are a little bit older, but that's okay. I mean, there's a lot of action going on in the game, in the game and that's one thing that I can tell you is right from the get-go, there's tons of action going on. Now, you can do this this uh, this tutorial, and if you're not used to the game, I recommend you do it. It's pretty simple as far as um, click to move or point and click to move around and stuff like that. So I'm actually going to uh, close it out and start the game and skip the tutorial. So uh, let's see. So we're actually starting the tutorial even though I wanted to skip it. So it's telling me I clicked here and I move and then I'm going to click over here with left click and I move around and all this good stuff is moving me around. And what's really weird is I thought I actually skipped it. So I think we can do this. Let's do skip instruction and hit start and see what happens. So there we go, quest complete. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on. So now we can move around, we can talk to this guy. You can see he's got a little exclamation over his head and basically he's telling us, all hail Kronos, which is essentially the city that I'm in. Suggest you take this letter to director Mike in Kronos and he'll give you some easy quests. All right, my pleasure, no problem. Now there we go, we're in the game. All started up, takes, Salas's letter to director Mike, blah, 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 blah. Hit yes. Now we've got a few things that have popped up. There's an update. We're going to close that out. 
And this is also groups, so you can join different groups. Hit join. Now, obviously, it tells you right here team benefits, and there's a lot of benefits to joining up with other players. And one big thing is this community is very, very helpful. So I can tell you if you join up with higher level players, they help you power level through the levels really fast. Now, one thing I can tell you is you can get outside and you can start hammering away on monsters really quickly. And um, for some people, they're going to want to do that, especially since if we go to our quest log, we're going to kind of go to, we've got main quest, we've got elite, we've got all kinds of stuff going on here, find the profit this, blah, 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 blah. But it's a lot of running around and, and that's obviously killing people. But we're going to go here and we're going to actually get right into a killing quest. So we need to go and talk to Director Mike anyways and give him the letter. So we're going to accept this quest. And what's really cool is it already takes us over to him. So you can also use this pathfinding. The pathfinding is really well done and gets you anywhere you want to go. You can even say, okay, you know what? I want to go hunt some monsters. So I can pick in the pathfinding, hunt monsters. I can go to see what stores I want. There's all kinds of different stuff in here. So definitely worthwhile to use the pathfinding. We're gonna go ahead and close that right now and complete this quest. Okay, I'll go. So he wants me to go out and kill 10 mad bulls. And you can see inside of the quest log, I can go ahead and give up, but I don't wanna do that. Or I can track, but it's already it's already in the tracking here, so I'm going to leave that alone. While we're running out there, we're going to go through some other stuff here. So we've got our basic status or our character sheet. We've got status. We can take a look at our equipment. We've got this apprentice staff, and we've got the apprentice armor. We've got the different skills that we have, which is wind beads, which is a sector of the wind beads. And then you've got this dragon morph, which is kind of cool. Then you've got... All the, this breaks down by a bunch of different abilities that you have to you buy skill books and then you're able to assign those skill book skill books into your skill tab and stuff like that. You can see I've got my bread and butter behind me and I'm already running around. I've already taken out one of these mad bulls. So let's see if we can find some more of these guys. They they usually hang out in bunches right over here. So let's see. There we go. We got a bunch right here. So we're gonna go ahead and just start powering away on them and. Uh, as you can see, my my little bread and butter guys are, are doing a lot of damage, and they're taking they're taking a bunch of these out. And let's see if we can find a few more here really quick, and that should finish up our quest. There we go. They re the nice thing is is all the monsters respawn really quick because the game, like I said, is very action oriented. So it's pretty much just click you know click move around point and click. You just point your little mouse cursor, click on the monster, and you'll start attacking them and take them out. So we probably got a couple more of these guys. Maybe one more? There we go. <laughs> I was like, I could have swore we're getting close. So we can see we, we've killed all of them. Now we want to report to Mike. So we can go right here, hit yes, hit go on, and off we go to talk to Mike. So now we can look at our inventory. We've got a bunch of kind of starter stuff here, a leaflet, the divine path, right click to use. So we've got a bunch of different stuff. What's, what's really funny is they've got this beginner trial pack. So if you want to open that up, you actually have to spend some of the game's premium currency. So kind of slick on their part. They, you know, they kind of entice you with, oh, look, there's a bunch of stuff in here. So, But then you can look at your EU demons and you can actually get more of these guys and, and get different eggs and then, and then hatch the eggs. And as the eggs hatch, you'll get different ones. Uh, and then you can see their different elements. So like earth, air, water, fire, all that stuff. But we'll see actually that here in a second. So there's our skills. We already looked at that. Then you've got your legion or family, which is essentially like your, uh, your guild and stuff like that. Let's actually talk to Mike and say, what about a reward? All right, so we got a bunch of, a bunch of stuff with that reward. Thanks. And then let's go down here and see what other quests we've got. Levels 1 to 10, a new journey. So we need to, we need to find grounds. So let's accept that quest and off we go. Go on. And there's grounds. Luckily, all of these guys are nice and close by. Um, but who are they? But a bunch of these early on quests aren't going to have you going out and killing too much stuff. They're going to kind of be teaching you about the game and moving you around the city and stuff like that. Getting you kind of acclimated with the area and where different NPCs are and where the skill books are and all of that stuff. So we just got a letter from ground. So let's go ahead and read it. Where is that letter? There it is. So we right click to read it. There we go. So it's kind of getting you used to some of the different stuff like how you inter interact and interface with different things. So let's go ahead and complete that quest. And this right here is our EU Demon training book. So as you can see, here are the ones that we have right now. And click here to use the EU Demon book on the magic attack defense. You don't have an EU Demon book in your inventory. You can spend blah, 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 buy it. So nope, I 
So I don't know how yes and buy are not different things. <laughs> so I'm gonna hit yes. But either way, you can get additional ones that that fit all of these different spots and stuff like that. And you've got warrior types, mage types, and then special. So as you progress through the game, you'll find different ones. And oops, I open that again. And and you'll wanna you'll wanna set them up to hatch as you're running around playing the game. So we're going to go ahead and go see Helms, get a Brave Potion, and uh, and then he's going to send us out to fight a bunch of stuff. So, But I'm on one of the lesser populated servers. If you get to one of the other servers that's really populated, it's almost difficult in some areas. So you can see some guys riding around on their mounts. I mean, there's really cool stuff. But you can even see right here in some of these areas, you can see how packed it gets. Because there are just a ton of people that play this game. I think because... Even though, you know, graphically it is a little bit older game, but it still runs very, very well on pretty much any system. So you're going to have a lot of players who have older systems and stuff like that. I know we've talked about this a lot in the past, and we recently just did, you know, the re review on Trickster and stuff like that. We've done review on games similar to this that pretty much... You know, I've talked about this before, but you know, it's why even more so that I think you're going to see a big movement towards a lot more games that are browser-based. And you, you know, you're, you're even seeing Runes of Magic migrating to the browser. And so these older games, graphically, that aren't as you know bells and whistles, just you know, blowing it out of the water, are still very, very good for a lot of uh, players who are dealing with kind of some some issues as far as their. Uh, their uh, their their computers are, are concerned or their machines are concerned so so we got a brave potion now he wants us to head outside now let's talk to Maya it looks like she's got a, a couple of quests for us you know what let's go on let's just let's just head outside and let's actually use we're gonna use our pathfinding we're gonna find some monsters to hunt let's go hunt some green giants so now once we get outside and we start hunting the green giants we're gonna probably have a very good chance of seeing the uh, EXP skill and then EXP skill you're starting to see this in more and more games perfect world has it in a lot of their games and TQ digital which runs this and they run conquer online and a bunch of other games they have they pretty much have it in all their games and essentially what happens is, is once I fill up this bar right here filled with my experience kind of I don't even know what to call it you will just you will absolutely see let's go yes and let's start killing some of these mad bulls you'll see you'll see it fill up and then you'll see uh, a skill that I'll have available. Actually, you know what? These guys are too weak. I need to go hunt some, some more difficult monsters, so I'm going to hunt some green giants. But either way, you'll see this skill pop up. And when you use that skill, just almost every monster you kill or aim at pretty much goes down in one shot. And you get tons more experience for, uh, for actually killing those monsters. So... Now what's really interesting is you've got this trade option and when the trade option is used you can see this little window pop out of the out of the top here and you'll see what people are selling and all kinds of stuff like that which is really kind of cool you just and while you're out here you can buy things from other players and all kinds of different stuff like that so you've got these options create a mannequin I don't remember what this one is auction booth so you do different stuff bidding on different player auctions stuff like that and then you got your EU Doom warehouse uh, all kinds of different you got the game has just a ton of depth to it and you've got your mentor and apprentice so you get a mentor if you become a mentor you'll see once we get to level five here um you'll you'll see that uh there we go i leveled up got to level two and you can see i didn't kill the guy to level up um so what happens is you actually get experience as you're attacking monsters. So sometimes when you're attacking monsters that are a little bit weaker, you're not going to get as much experience because you're not you're not you're not attacking them the entire time. So you can see I'm getting you know you have gained 31 extra experience points, blah blah blah. blah. So we need to just keep attacking these monsters. But what I was saying about the mentor system is essentially, there we go. You can share your mentor BP. So let's click on that, and you can see right there share share mentor battle power an EU Demon Hatch, an EU Demon Hatch. So essentially what happens is um, you share your mentor battle power and there we go, there's our there's our little skill. So we're gonna go ahead and, and click on that and start taking everything under the sun out. So go ahead and use that, there we go. I think we're using our skill. We should be. Let's go, let's go to skills and make sure. So wind beads, seven, level, level seven is required, so let's there we go. Nope, and there we go. We opened up 
we open up the, uh, the the full map, and if we use that, you could see we're just we're doing all kinds of damage to all the things around us. So that's why we really want to use this uh, this skill that we have. That was that was what I was looking for, and unfortunately, I um, I wasn't quite prepared. I hadn't quite gone in and and put that out uh, out in my hot bar quite yet. So. And you can see here we've got a bunch of these guys around and my skills attacking all of them. So the more of these that I attack, the more damage I do. So that's one of the nice things with the mage is you can really attack a lot of different guys, a lot of area of effect stuff. Plus, you know, you've got your you've got these little EU, these little EU demons, my little bread and butter out there doing a whole bunch of stuff for me. So let's see if we can find some more of these guys, take some more of them out. We got level five, so I think we've got a bunch more quests. Now you can see right here we've got an EU Demon book that dropped. So let's pick that up. Now we can go into where we were before and go under Mage. And we can go like this. You don't have an EU Demon book in your inventory. Hmm. I thought I, I could have swore that I just picked one up. Character level 50. So, yeah, that's not going to work yet because I'm not high enough level. So let's start taking some of these guys out. We're leveling up. As you can see, I mean, once you start taking these guys out, you start leveling up really, really quick. And that's one of the best parts about actually in the game is once you get that exp skill it's highly recommended that you're in an area and there's an eu demon egg so that's even more important we'll talk about that in a second that you're in an area where the monsters are actually higher level higher level than you because if they're higher level than you then you're going to be able to take you're going to be able to take them out with uh with the skills that you have and the great thing about that is that um you're going to be able to take them out even easier when you have that that exp so you can see it's slowly filling up and it it just kind of arbitrarily fills up and and when, what you kind of want to do even is what and what a lot of people do is they even just sit around and wait for it to fill up and then they go around and just start killing everything under the sun so that's that's one strategy that you can follow it's, it's kind of up to you but as far as you know the overall you know gameplay and stuff like that you can see it's pretty basic pretty much very similar to a lot of other point and click action you know point to click the monster and they respawn really quick it is a little bit grindy um at least right now now i don't know if later on a lot more uh quests come into play and stuff like that there are like a, like you saw a lot of quests in town that um that will move me around to different areas and and stuff like that but for the most part you're going to be out here and the idea is, is that you're just going to be out here molesting the hell out of all of these monsters and killing them as fast as humanly possible so that's pretty much what you're going to spend the majority of your time doing there are a lot of uh there are a lot of levels there's specific um there's specific areas for each of the levels let's bring up our map so you guys can see unfortunately they had that little map up that i closed but essentially it showed us the different areas where the different monsters were but even under uh our little our little pathfinding we can go into here see hunting monsters and we can go hunt some gnomes 9 and 14 or dragon kin that are 13 let's go find some dragon kin before i have to take off and uh, and see what they have to offer but the game does have um, a full enhancement system as far as being able to enhance your gear and your weapons and stuff like that. It's really kind of weird because this is one of the first games that I've played that I've spent all this time and yet uh, yet I have I have yet to get any new gear essentially. I've gotten you know this little book and stuff like that, but I haven't gotten any new gear. I'm sure that there's some in here, but I'm not I'm not going to spend any money right now to to open that up. You also have the dual system, so you can. You can highlight a character or click, I mean, or click another player to duel them with this little icon. You can see right there, I wasn't attacking anything, and my EXP just popped up. And you can see, even though I'm not doing anything, it's still draining away. So it slowly drains down because I'm not actually fighting any mon. Even it does it whether I'm fighting monsters or not. While I'm trying to get to them, whatever. So unfortunately, I don't think. There we go. Let's use that real quick and start attacking these guys. So let's see if F7, start killing these guys much faster. Nope, unfortunately, it all ran out. So we're just going to be able to 
kill these gnomes with my regular skills and stuff like that. But the game also has, if you notice in my pathfinding, I've got things like double experience. So we can cruise off to go get double experience. Yep, and let's end my path. I wanna get back down here and start killing these guys. So there's all kinds of little stuff like that in the game that you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to when you're playing because it becomes very advantageous for you to get things just like that, like double experience or the extra potions or stuff like that. So here we go, team search, team quest. We're not gonna do that right now, especially since I pretty much am out of time. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's trip inside the den. Don't forget to subscribe and keep yourself updated as each new episode is released. And please make sure to comment and tell us anything that we missed or anything that we got wrong. We're not perfect and we're more than happy to admit it. So if you'd like to play or learn more about EU Demons, you can read our full review at mmoden.com or just click the link in the description. Till next time, thanks for watching.